Hello again. Um, I know I've been going a little YouTube crazy, but I'm going to start a uh, film review uh, little segment of my channel also. I will not, however, go back and review movies that I've already seen um, and I'm very familiar with. I did recently, for the first time, see Eight and a Half, um, the Fellini classic, and uh, I know this is a news flash for those of you out there, but uh, Federico Fellini is, in fact, a genius. Um, Eight and a Half is the only one I've seen so far, but of course I've uh, put too many more of his movies in my Netflix queue. Um, Eight and a Half is the story of a director who doesn't, who has a script, but he doesn't know what it's about, and he is having a lot of trouble making this movie, and he's feeling pressured on all sides from his producers and his wife and his girlfriend and his production manager and, uh, you know, all these people. And it's a very, it is very similar to Adaptation, and I also realize that it's similar uh, not only in the storyline that it's a movie about how you can't make a, cer uh, a certain movie, uh, but it's also there's a you know lots of themes of um, dreams. Dreams play a big part in it, and you know there's lots of instances where you have trouble telling the difference between what dream, what's a dream, and what's reality. Um, it's re it's really funny, really um, you know an honest movie, which is a shame because throughout the movie, um, his wife in particular, the main character's wife, criticizes him for not being able to tell the truth uh, in his real life, uh, which is a trapping of a lot of, um, you know, creative artists uh, who, especially storytellers, you know, they can't, they uh, can't you know, express themselves honestly in their interpersonal relationships, but, you know, if you put them on stage in front of 500 people or give them a camera or, you know, sit them down in front of a typewriter, they can, you know, be more honest than they ever could face-to-face. -face. Uh, I would put myself in that category, certainly. I can be a lot more honest uh, to my little webcam here uh, or also on stage with uh, lights on me as long as I can't see uh, people's faces. I can be more emotional on stage than I could ever, well, maybe not, but uh, it's, uh, there's definitely a dramatic difference. I could open up a lot more when I'm uh, performing. Um, what else? It's shot, uh, of course, it's shot incredibly well. Um, these really luxurious shots, which is uh, a departure from a lot of the Italian neorealist movies that um, came before this. And uh, in some of my research, I found out that uh, Fellini also contributed to a lot of those early Italian neorealist films. Um, so it's definitely a departure from those in just the scope of these, a lot of the shots that he has. They're just, you know, beautiful. And from that fact alone, they make you aware of the camera. You know, they make you aware that it is, in fact, a movie that's being shot. And uh, it's really, you know, it's really brilliant, <laughs> and it's got you know it's got everything. Lots of great dialogue, uh, great cinematography, great uh, acting, um, and yes. So I guess that'll wrap it up for this one. So I would highly recommend Eight and a Half, uh, and it uh, gets my highest rate. This movie gets my highest rating, which is five punches in the face. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Go see Eight and a Half.